Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here, back with a brand new Assassin's Creed Valhalla video, and today we're gonna talk about Transmog, a not so new feature just added into this game. This is something we've been talking about for a while here on the channel, so I thought it would be only right that I really break it down. Now of course, it's not complicated to figure out, but there are some additional things thrown into the mix that are worth pointing out. For anyone that doesn't know, transmog or transmogrification is a game system where you can change the look of something, in this case your weapons and armor, to look a certain way without changing the underlying stats and effects. This gives players the option to really live out that fantasy RPG without sacrificing performance, and it's something that I truly believe should be a staple in any RPG game from day one. We've talked about so many incredible sets of armor and countless cool weapons, but up until this point, we haven't been able to use them because their stats were just garbage. Transmog fixes all of that. Transmog in Valhalla works a bit differently than in other Assassin's Creed games, and unfortunately, I think it's for the worst. To access the system, you have to head back to Ravensthorpe and talk to Gunner. Once you're there, you can access your standard upgrade gear menu, but now you can also access a downgrade gear menu and that all-important Transmog menu. I want to talk quickly about downgrading gear because this isn't something that was talked about in the patch notes. You may take one look at this system and think, meh, kind of pointless, but I will say, I think this is great for players that are still progressing in the game and want to use a variety of weapons and armor. Now, they don't have to stop what they're doing to farm more materials just so they can try out a new weapon. They could just go back to camp, downgrade their current gear, get all of those resources back, and then upgrade whatever gear they want to test out. Now, this is a really nice feature for anyone that is still experiencing the game, unlike the rest of us who have sunk countless hundreds of hours into Valhalla. Now, shifting gears, let's talk about that new transmog system, one of the features everyone has been waiting for. There are a few things you need to know, like that you can only transmog weapons of the same type. If you're using a one-handed axe, you can only change the look to be that of another one-handed axe. This is obviously because of the way combat works in the game. You can't be using an axe, but swinging around a spear. It's pretty straightforward. Every item you change the look of will cost 50 silver, and this is where we start to run into some of the first issues, things I think the community is not going to appreciate. You get a nice preview window when changing out an item, but you can't see it on your character until after you've already paid the silver. That means you could end up spending a decent chunk of money before actually landing on your preferred look. On top of that, every item that you change the look of costs an additional 50 silver. If you decided to change every piece of gear, weapons and armor included, and you only make one change to each, that is still 400 silver, and that's not nothing. Now, I hate to keep being that guy that talks about money and how Ubisoft is trying to suck money out of its player base, but what do you see when you go into the store? Well, you see a resource pack where you can buy silver. So for anybody that doesn't want to farm and maybe wants to change out all of their gear a lot, they may pay some real money to get some more silver. And you see how that cycle keeps repeating itself with every new system in the game. Now, some people will say either pay the money or go farm or do some raids, and I understand what they're saying, and it adds a little bit of a realism factor having to pay for transmog. But that's not what this system is supposed to be about. It's about living out that fantasy RPG experience. What is nice is that you can change items back to their lower tier looks, and I think a lot of the more Viking diehard fans are going to appreciate that aspect of the system, but it's still rather costly in the grand scheme of things. Again, I'm thinking about the more casual players that may not have the time to just go farm just so they can look a certain way. I should also mention that you can choose to wear the Vinland set now outside of Vinland, which is something that players have been asking about for quite some time. Sadly, you cannot transmog the Bayek outfit, which is a huge miss in my opinion, but I imagine they're going to add this in at some point. They have to, right? I mean, that just seems like an easy home run. Another thing that's hanging me up is the fact that you can't change your look from anywhere in the world. This really isn't that big of a deal, since getting back to Ravensthorpe isn't that hard, but it's just one more thing you have to do. Again, Transmog is supposed to be a seamless system that allows you to just enjoy the game that much more. It's really not supposed to be work, but I guess Ubisoft is trying to find some sort of middle ground. The last thing I want to talk about is the change in the system from Odyssey to Valhalla. It's clearly different, and a lot of that has to do with the changes in how the team designed weapons in Valhalla. I think looking back at some old Odyssey footage, the transmog feature feels more user-friendly. There are obviously a lot more options, and this is something anyone who cares about transmog likes, but also the expanded menus just make the whole process a bit less confined. Unfortunately, I don't see the team doing anything in the way of changing this system because they just implemented it, but it's always good to go back and compare what was and what now is. 
So there you have it, friends, a quick video about transmogging gear in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts on the new system, leave your comments in the section below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and, of course, subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of Assassin's Creed content planned, what with Wrath of the Druids, right around the corner, and you definitely don't want to miss out. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.